1961 China established a state-run maritime shipping company and subsequently signed shipping agreements with many countries, laying the foundation for developing the country's ocean transport. That organization developed into the present-day China Ocean Shipping Group company, Costco. The Chinese government also invested heavily in water transport infrastructure, constructing new ports and rebuilding and enlarging older facilities. A major effort has also been made to increase mechanization and containerization at major international ports. China's shipping industry and container transportation have reached international standards both in handling efficiency and building networks. The governmental responsibility of the shipping industry is under the Ministry of Transport. The number of container units handled by Chinese ports in 2011 reached more than 150 million. The country also manufactures 90% of the world's containers. The throughput of cargo and containers at China's ports has been the largest in the world for the past five years, with an annual growth rate of 35%. The first overseas container reached China in September 1973 at Tianjin Port, which later set up the country's first container berth in 1980. The 1990s saw rapid growth in the container transportation industry, and in 2002 China overtook the United States to become the world's top handler of containers. In 2006, the country handled 5.6 billion tons of cargo and 93 million TEUs, 20-foot container equivalent units. 12 ports recorded cargo throughput of more than 100 million tons, with the port of Shanghai handling 530 million tons, making it the world's busiest port. Water transportation accounts for more than 90% of foreign trade cargo delivery, including 95% of imported crude oil and 99% of imported iron ore. Containers have further connected China's middle and western regions to the global market, under a port's distribution strategy combining coastal areas and inner rivers. China's 8, 700-mile, 14,000 km long coastline is indented by 100 large and small bays and has 20 deepwater harbors, most of which are ice-free throughout the year. Coastal shipping is divided into two principal navigation zones, the northern and southern marine districts. The northern district extends north from Xiamen to the North Korean border, with Shanghai as its administrative center. The southern district extends south from Xiamen to the Vietnamese border, with Guangzhou as the administrative center. Most of the ocean-going routes begin from the ports of Dalian, Qingwangdao, Xingong, Qingdao, Shanghai, Huangpu, Zhangjiang, or Hong Kong. Shanghai, the leading port of China from the early 19th century, was eclipsed by Hong Kong when the latter was reincorporated into the country in 1997. On June 23, 2007, renovations on the section of the Yangtze River between Luzhou and Chongqing, also known as the Huyu Sea Route, have been completed. These renovations mean that ships over a thousand tons can now arrive in Luzhou. Before the renovations, the Huyu Sea Route was unable to suitably support the shipping needs of the Sichuan economy. In October 2005, renovations started with a total investment of 120 million yuan. 15.7 million US dollars. After two years of work, the Huyu route channel has been significantly enlarged to a depth of 2.7 meters and a width of 50 meters. The result is that vessels as large as 3,000 tons can now navigate the Huyu Sea Route. China Shipbuilding Industry Corporation CSSE, was once one of China's two largest shipbuilding conglomerates, along with China State Shipbuilding Corporation CSSC. The company was formed by the government of the People's Republic of China on July 1, 1999 through separation from CSSC, and 100% of the company's shares are held by the State-Owned Assets Supervision and Administration Commission SASAC, of the State Council. Headquartered in Beijing, CSSC handles shipbuilding activities in the north and west of China, while the China State Shipbuilding Corporation CSSC, handles shipbuilding activities in eastern and southern China. Six subsidiary, namely China Shipbuilding Industry Company Limited, Sickle, listed on the Shanghai Stock Exchange in 2008. The trading business unit of this company is China Shipbuilding and Offshore International Company. LTD, CSOC. CSIC has developed 10 key sectors, namely shipbuilding, marine engineering, diesel engines, storage batteries, large steel structure fabrication, port machinery, turbochargers, tobacco machinery, gas metering and automation distribution systems. 
Six main business scope also includes the management of all state assets it manages, domestic and foreign investment and financing, research and production of military equipment, especially warships, designing, producing, and repairing domestic and foreign civil ships, marine equipment, and other non-ship products, various kinds of economic and technological cooperation, overseas turnkey project execution, labor export, production projects with raw materials from abroad, construction of engineering projects, engineering construction, construction and installation of buildings, etc. On November 26, 2019, the company was merged with China State Shipbuilding Corporation to form China State Shipbuilding Corporation. China Ocean Shipping Company, or Costco for short, was founded in 1961 as an agency of the Chinese government. In the same year, Costco established a subsidiary in Guangzhou, Guangdong Province. The subsidiary in Guangzhou then bought a British flagged ship and changed the ship's name to Guanghua. The Guanghua first sailed to Jakarta from the People's Republic of China in April 1961. After the United States resumed its relationship with China in the 1970s, the China Ocean Shipping Company signed an agreement with the American Lex Brothers Steamship Company in 1979. The agreement also opened commercial sea routes between the United States and the People's Republic of China. In the same year, Costco became China's representative to collaborate with International Telephone and Telegraph in improving communication facilities in China's coastal areas. In 1981, Costco won a contract from the National Tanker Company of Pakistan to transport crude oil. CSSC is one of the 10 largest defense groups in China, with shipyards, equipment manufacturers, research institutes, and shipbuilding-related subsidiaries. A number of well-known shipbuilders in China, such as Jiangnan Shipyard and Hadong Zhonghua Shipbuilding, are currently owned by CSSC. One of CSSC's subsidiaries, namely China's CSSC Holdings Limited SSE 600150, is listed on the Shanghai Stock Exchange and has a number of subsidiaries, including Shanghai Weigakio Shipbuilding. Published by CGTN, China's groundbreaking cruise ship, Adora Magic City, the world's first domestically made large cruise vessel with 5G capabilities, is scheduled to be undocked in Shanghai on Tuesday. After completing comprehensive tests in the dock, the ship will transition to the wharf construction stage. The plan is to initiate the trial voyage in July, followed by a second trial voyage in August, with the ultimate goal of completing and delivering the ship before the year's end. Upon its anticipated delivery by the end of this year, the vessel will embark on an array of international routes connecting Shanghai as its home port to neighboring countries and regions, including Japan and Southeast Asia. Collaboratively designed and constructed by Cruise Technology Development Company, Limited, affiliated to China State Shipbuilding Corporation, CSSC, and Shanghai Weigakio Shipbuilding Company. Limited, this cruise ship boasts an impressive length of 323.6 meters and a gross tonnage of 135,500 tons, offering accommodation for up to 5,246 passengers. Through more than three years of endeavors, the project team successfully addressed three crucial technologies, weight control, vibration and noise reduction, and safe return to port. These significant achievements have paved the way for a range of technological innovations, effectively bridging the gap in the production of domestically built, large-scale cruise ships. On June 3, lifeboat release mechanism tests were conducted on the ship to ensure the safe evacuation of passengers and crew members in emergency situations. Equipped with 20 lifeboats, the cruise ship has the capacity to evacuate all passengers in case of an emergency. These lifeboats are stocked with signal shells, an ample supply of food, and drinking water, ensuring sustenance for those aboard for three to five days. Additionally, the cruise ship will be outfitted with advanced wireless communication technology, providing passengers with a seamless network experience comparable to that on land. Both Wi-Fi 6 and mobile 5G networks will be available on board.